As part of the Adobe Y video series, we previously talked about the synergy between Adobe Scan, Adobe Acrobat Sign, and Acrobat Pro that allows you to create a complete digital document ecosystem with Document Cloud. They each have their own respective roles in this ecosystem overall, and although there is some overlap in their capabilities, where the functionality of Acrobat Pro ends, Adobe Acrobat Sign's power begins. So the question that I'm most often asked are, what is the power exactly that Adobe Acrobat Sign has? And why would I want to utilize Acrobat Sign when Acrobat Pro does mostly what I need? And why would I want to make any changes to my workflows? And these are really good questions. The answer lies in the benefits of Adobe Acrobat Sign's integrations. So the question that's answered in this video series is, why integrate? There are many reasons to integrate, but overall, Adobe Acrobat Sign gives you the ability to integrate all of the power of Adobe Acrobat Sign right out of the box with other applications that you may already be using, like Salesforce, Dynamics, and Teams at no extra charge. And the benefits here can be massive, from creating workflow efficiencies, to generating consistency across your departments, to working in environments that you're already familiar with. And all you need to do to enjoy these benefits immediately is just do a little assembly to create the handshake between these pre-built applications. In the following video, I'll show you how easy it is to assemble the integration between Acrobat Sign and Salesforce, no code required. This is an out-of-the-box solution that comes with your Acrobat Sign license for free. That means no hidden fees. It is free because Acrobat Sign is Microsoft's premier e-signature solution. And that means a few things, really a few good things. First, with respect to security, security is built upon both platforms. Also, in the sense of a true partnership, these integrations remain current. So future changes in Acrobat Sign will continue to work within the integration. The benefit here is that you won't have to worry about versioning, things like that. So why integrate? Because with this integration, you can automate your document-driven workflows. Now, you'll be able to create data-driven sales documents, send documents for e-signature, provide real-time tracking, and securely store your documents with a full audit report, all within Salesforce. And the benefits here are many, from increasing employee productivity, to keeping all agreements secure, to an enhanced user experience overall, all contributing to efficiently moving your business forward. Let's take a look. Setting up your integration with Acrobat Sign with Salesforce is really simple, just a few step process. You don't need a gigantic manual to do it, just these following steps. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have both a Salesforce account and that you are an administrator of your Acrobat Sign account. Now you only have a few steps to set up this integration. First, you need to come here to the Salesforce App Exchange to get the Acrobat Sign application package so that you can install it. So just come in to top up here and key it in, and then you'll see it pop up right away. So come over here and go to click on it and go to get it now. And now you'll be prompted to sign into your Salesforce account so you can install it. If you have a Salesforce account, go ahead and log in here and you'll be prompted to select your environment, whether it's a production or a sandbox environment. If you don't have an account, you can select continue as guest and can start a free trial for a developer account. You'll get this immediate pop-up that says it's taking too long to install. Just ignore that. Just hit done. Um, this does not take long to install, but it takes only a few seconds for this pop-up to come up for some reason. So it may take a couple of minutes, but in my experience, it's about 15 or 20 minutes for the package to install. Select install for all users, and you'll get an email that tells you you were successful. Okay, with this integration, I also want to install Document Builder. So I'm going to come here back to my App Exchange. Document Builder is going to allow you to create dynamic data-driven sales documents within Salesforce that pull information from Salesforce into an agreement that can be sent out for signature. And this is a powerful tool that takes you away from that practice of using additional applications to create static documents that need to then be plugged into Salesforce. So this saves you time and eliminates errors. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty powerful stuff. To use Document Builder, you'll need the Document Builder for Salesforce add-in, which you also find here at the App Exchange. So just key in Document Builder, and it'll pop up. Okay, so click on it once again. Go to Get It Now so you can install it. 
And down here, there's even a short video that you can watch. I think this is about four minutes long. It'll give you a really good feel for what Document Builder can do for you. Once both packages have been installed, you can go to your Installed Packages tab in your Salesforce instance to confirm those installations. So I'm in my Home tab. I'll come down to Apps and go to Packaging and click Installed Packages. And here I'll be able to see that my Acrobat Sign Document Builder and my Adobe Acrobat Sign Packages have been installed. Now once the packages have been installed now, you can go to the last step to complete the initial configuration, which is to connect. So to do this, I'm going to come up here in my top left and go to my App Launcher, and I'll key in the word Document. This will give me a visual to my Document Builder admin. When I click on that, now it is going to ask me to connect. So when I hit Connect, I'll be prompted to sign in to my Acrobat Sign account. And this just wants me to allow access. Now it tells me that my Adobe Acrobat Sign account is linked to the Document Builder for Adobe Acrobat Sign in Salesforce. Okay, now I can refresh the screen and I'll see that Document Builder has been connected. When I come here, here's my Document Builder tab. Once successfully connected, the Document Builder functionality is automatically added to your Salesforce instance. And now there's just one last step. Come over here to Adobe Sign Admin. And I want to come over here and it says here that it's linked to Alex Page 3816 at Gmail. That's my Acrobat Sign account. And now it also has my callback user. So you want to make sure that those two are linked. So those are the basic steps. And now setup is complete. Lastly, I want to point out a few of the tabs here due to this integration, starting with the Agreements tab. This will show you all of your agreements that are in Salesforce. Under Manage Agreements, this is essentially your UI with Acrobat Sign. So this is where all of your documents are going to live. It'll show you all of your agreements and the state that they're in, whether they're in progress, whether they're waiting for you to complete, whether they are completed, canceled, expired, or in draft form. Under Agreement Templates, this is where you'll build your templates. And these would be documents that you want to use in Salesforce when you are sending out an agreement. And the document can live in the Acrobat Sign Library or in your Salesforce Library. And then when you're in an opportunity, these will appear in a dropdown so you can easily send from an object with one of these specific templates in mind that you want to use. Under Data Mapping, you'll be taking data from the Sign Agreement and populate Salesforce with it. And also there's Merge Mappings, which is taking data from Salesforce and using it to populate a dynamic agreement. And then all the way under the More tab, at the end, you're going to see the Document Builder. And lastly, on the far, far right, if I click on this little tiny pencil, I can change my navigation to the way that I want it. Okay, so that's your setup. Pretty easy setup. In the next video, I'll show you how to put this powerful integration to use, and you'll know why I integrate.